In this video, I'm going to show you how you can schedule for temporary workers in Excel. And so we have our normal employees, which is employee one to seven. And then we have periodically during the year, we bring in four other temporary workers. And this is quite normal in a lot of industries. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run, I'm going to run my macro for normal, which is my normal staff, and I'm going to run this. And my staff, the staff here work um, three days on, three days off, and 12-hour shifts. Now, periodically through the year, I have staff come in to do extra work or for peak season or whatever. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to macros, and I'm going to run temporary. And there you go. There we have from um, August 15th till um, just after the end of end of the month, we have uh, our staff running in here. So let me show you how I did this. Okay, so here's my normal code. So um, basically I'm declaring row and column as long and then I'm saying the, the place that they are and then do while um, C is less than 90. So I did it for 90 days. I don't need to waste your time watching me run for 365. And for row 7 to 13, so that's where the rows, that's where the rows were my, um, my normal staff are in. And uh, for the odd ones, they start with work. And for the even ones, they start with off. And so basically, there you have your, your staff run for you. Now, for the temporary workers, what we're, we're doing here is we're deciding what the days are. Now, let me go back to my sheet, and I'll show you what I, how I figure this out. So the easiest way that I have found is to bring it back to its normal form. So here I have my 8.15 as a start date, and 9.30 is the end date. Now, it's going to be a, a day or two ex extra on top of that, but here... Let's let's just show you. And so let's go equals, and then we show you we select the date, and we go equals again, and select that date. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select these two values, and then we are going to right click, and I don't think you can see it, but I'm selecting format cells, and what I'm doing is I'm going to select general. And what it's going to do is it's going to change my 815 to the number of days since 1900 or January 1st, 1900. And so then you don't have to worry about the date format. You just have to worry about the number. So now let's go back to my code. So 815 was 44788 and 930 is 44834. Okay, so let's go here. And so I say, so first of all, I'm declaring, let me go back to my sheet one. So row four is where my date is. So I'm using this cell as the uh, as, as my C date or the column date. Okay, so now I go for the C date equals 4C, which is the column. And if the C date is greater than the greater than or equal to the first date that we specified, or less than or equal to the second date, then we basically do the same thing. Um, the odds start with a work and the even, even numbers start with an odd. And so then instead of going, um, because I'm using a, for, a for loop here, instead of going six days, I'm going five days because um, it's gonna put on an extra day when I go to the next C. So I will of course include all of this code in the description of my video, please subscribe.